Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. Today's topic, I'm gonna talking about、uh, how to integrate the remote desktop connection manager tools with your CyberArk PSM. As you can see from my screen, I have three type of、uh, remote desktop manager software. First one is from Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection Manager. Second one is Mobile X10. Third one is M Remote NG. So those three, I'm thinking, is most popular remote desktop client to do the RDP. This video gonna describe the steps how to integrate them with CyberArk PSM. The first one I want to talk about always、uh, is a requirement. So what you need to do with、um, Your PSM server. Of course, you need to allow the PSM to log in remote, log in with those users. So as you can see, I already added the domain users into these groups, remote desktop users group. You see here. So this group is also you can find out、uh, from. Computer management, local users and the groups. These groups, remote desktop users. So let the group, remote desktop users group, you need to make sure the users in these groups are added in here. So domain users probably is the easiest one you added in, but you may not want to all domain users. Then you can just only add CyberArk users. So CyberArk users, which is the users, can log into PVWA. In that way, you can remove domain users from here. So to limit it, the users who can access your PSM. Right,、um, that's a pre-requirement. After that, of course, you probably want to before you do that settings. You probably want to check the users who can log into PVWA and they have proper privilege account on board into the system. So that's gonna be checked out from PVWA server. Test one is our one of our cyber arc. LDAP users, and the, under the account view, you will see at the main one. This is privileged account we already added in. So basically, what that we can do is we can using PVWA to log into remote machine. So this RDP file gonna be created. And then launch the RDP session to PSM, and PSM launch the another session to the destination. That's exactly what the PVWA connect button will do. So we verify that, and it is working fine. And we're gonna do it through our RDCM. This is a remote desktop connection manager to version 2.7 from Microsoft. This software has been discontinued because、um, vulnerabilities found recently last year sometime.、Um, so, but it's still very popular for system admin to use.、Um, so, I'm gonna quickly go through the steps. What do we need to do to get it working? So, this is basic settings. I already set up、uh, this machine. So, I create a server name, display name. And if you're trying to log in, it won't be because you don't have permission. It's not authorized to remote log in to that, that server. You have to use in your privilege account. So what I do is、uh, privilege account. You need to use in PSM. So the server name you will put the PSM server name, server IP 192.168.2.25. This is PSM server IP. Display name you can show that this is the target server IP. But it's through PSM, so I put PSM here to describe this connection. This goes through PSM. The second settings on the tab connection settings is the start program. So basically, this 
PSM connection to RDP server is when we using normal user, which is our test one user to log into our remote server PSM. After we logged in, we will launch start the program with this command. This command tell me the user is at admin one at 51 sec test dev and do P, uh, remote desktop to 192.168.2.12 using the connection component PSM RDP. So let this command means once you log in to PSM server using test one account, then they will launch a command to use privilege account admin one using connection component PSM RDP to RDP to your remote desktop, remote target 192.168.2.12. Okay, that's the configuration. Uh, don't forget you need to have proper login credential test one. You only need to put the test one username and password here. After you did those three steps, first step, server settings, second connection settings, third step is login prevent pre-credentials. Then just do connect server. There was one warning, it's okay. I accept that. Then they will launch PSM session and the PSM is gonna start into recording your another session to remote server 192.168.2.12. So that's the settings for our RDCM, this software. Second software I'm going to talk about is Mobile Xterm. So I already have a couple of uh, remote sessions here. So this is a session I recently created using a PSM to log in to remote. So 192.168.2.12. So let's uh, take a look what I did. So just uh, edit the session. So you put the remote host, same as RDCM. You just put the PSM server IP as your remote host. Second thing you need to do is remote command. So it's the same command we put into RDCM. You just copy that command from RDCM to here. It's a exactly the same command. After you did that, the third step is the username. So I created the test one username and the password saved in the credentials here. So let's add it. So you need to follow this username name convention to put it in. First is your domain name. Second is your username and then password. It doesn't support it using test one at domain name, that format. It has to be domain name slash username. After you did that, three steps, remote host name, Second step, remote command. Third step, username and password. And OK. Then you can do connection. It will be same. PSM started, logged in, and you will be recorded. And then you log in with Moso 192.168.2.12. Perfectly. The third software I'm going to talk about is M Remote NG, which I'm using connecting to my PVWA server, PSN server, and I have organized my all servers into this panel here. I was wondering I can make it working as I did for the mobile extent. 
but unfortunately if I look at the settings here M remote ng doesn't support shell script doesn't support the start command it don't have this feature I even googled online I found some people discussing this software and they requested this feature to add it in which is having share command to be launched after you log in to the remote server at this moment i don't think it's possible but if you have any other suggestions any other idea to make it work let me know and do you have any other remote desktop software tools which support the shell command start command and please let me know Thank you.